Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Good evening and happy Friday. I'm Katie LaSalle with the latest from Denver 7. Well, King Super and City Market employees are voting to go on strike, and that last vote ended Friday night. They spent the last couple of days voting on the matter, and workers say the newest contract offered by the company means increased health care costs and no pay raise for half of the employees. However, the state's largest grocery chain says it is offering more pay and not changing health care costs. Now, this decision will not impact your grocery shopping plans for now. Denver 7 will continue to follow this story, and you can find the latest on the Denver channel.com. Well, Colorado has officially been added to the National Popular Vote Compact. Governor Jared Polis signed that bill today. The act will only take effect if enough states join to control 270 electoral votes. If and when that happens, all of Colorado's electoral college votes would go to the presidential candidate who wins the national popular vote. Well, Wednesday's blizzard is adding even more to the snowpack across the state. In the upper Colorado River Basin Mountains, snowpack is now 142% of normal. In the South Platte Basin, 136% of normal. And in the North Platte Basin, 128% of normal. Well, we'll get a little break from the moisture across the state. Dry conditions this weekend, upper 40s for Saturday, mostly sunny skies Sunday. We won't see our next chance for mountain snow come Tuesday. It'll drop our temperatures a little bit, but nearing 60 as we officially start spring on Wednesday of next week. Also, the St. Patrick's Day Parade starts at 9.30 Saturday morning in downtown Denver near Union Station in Coors Field. Parade organizers recommend that you get there early to find a great spot. And if you do plan on drinking alcohol, AAA Colorado has partnered with CDOT to help you get home safely. You can visit heatisoncolorado.com to sign a sober driving pledge and you'll get a $10 credit with Lyft. Well, this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us here. You can check back for more updates throughout the weekend and download the Denver 7 app for all your breaking news and alerts. I'm Katie LaSalle.